So I'm about to start a new series on SaaS development. Um, if you're not sure what that is, it's uh, you can see right here it says it's a, an extension of CSS3. And it adds a bunch of cool stuff like nested rules, variables, uh, mix -ins, um for CSS pre-processing. And um, it's really fun and it's easy to use. And um, it's especially useful when you're transferring products, or excuse me, not products, but projects uh, from a development environment to a live environment. Uh, now, the old way of installing it was to uh, use the command line and uh, download everything, and then you would include compass and whatnot uh, all through the terminal. And if you're on Windows, you had to not only do that, but uh, additionally, you would have to download or at least set up a Ruby, a Ruby environment uh, if you didn't have one already. Um, instead of doing all that, we're going to set it up a lot easier. We're not going to have to mess with the command line or terminal or any of that. Um, we're going to download this app called Scout. And it's, as you can see, it comes with Compass and CSS. And if you're on Windows, it also comes with a Ruby environment. Uh, if you're on Mac, you don't have to worry about it because you already have it. Um, uh, but like I said, it's, it's definitely really easy to use and it's especially useful. Over here on the left, you're going to see a download button, a big green one. Go ahead and click that and install the app. Um, I'm not going to do it because I have it already, but um, if, if you're new to this, then go ahead and do so. And I'm sure you can figure it out. Now, once you have it installed, let's go ahead and open it up just to take a look at it. And this is it. This is the GUI, and it's uh, pretty simple. There's actually only one button. And it's right here at the lower left, and this is where you add your projects. Now, before we add a project, let's go ahead and set up our directories. I'm in the root directory of my uh, local host, and I'm going to create a folder called EasySass. And within EasySass, I'm going to create another folder, and I'm going to call it CSS, and another folder called SAS. So I'm going to separate my SAS and CSS, and I'll show you why. Over back at Scout, let's go ahead and add this project by clicking in the lower left uh, button, the plus sign. And I'm going to find my easy SAS directory that I just created with the two folders. I'm going to click open. And uh, you can see we have our conf configuration settings. In the first field, you have to put an input folder. This is your SAS directory. So go ahead and select that and um, choose it. And for the output, select your CSS folder. This just means that all your code writing in uh, your SAS directory is going to be compiled and then written over to your uh, CSS directory. Uh, don't worry about the other directories right now or the output modes. Go ahead and leave them as is, and uh, we'll get more into that later. Um, let's go ahead and just click the Start button. And you can see over here, this is kind of our uh, our fake terminal area and what's going on right now is uh, Scout is actually searching the directory and you can see here it says nothing to compile and that's because we haven't written a single line of code yet. Uh, I've gone through the whole setup on Windows 8 and it works just fine. Um, if there are any other problems with uh, maybe Windows 7 or you're using something else go ahead and message me and I'll get to you. I'm all over social media so I'm pretty easy to find. Um, I'm going to go to my text editor and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save this as uh, X. In my easy SAS directory, I'm going to save this as index.html. Select that. And I'm going to just set up my uh, file really quick. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of a lazy developer, so I use Emmet to take shortcuts, but anyway, just bear with me. Uh, let's go ahead and link to our CSS file and it's going to be called main.css and inside of the body I'm going to create a div and I'm going to give it an ID of um, box and uh, no class, I don't know what happened there and I'll just save it and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to save this one as main dot scss it's scss and save it inside of my sas directory and um, I'm going to create a style rule for the box div that I just created 
I'm going to give it a height of, well, let's make it 100 pixels. And I'll give it a width of um, 100 pixels as well, just a square. Let's go ahead and save it. We'll switch back to Scout and uh, click on play. And we'll wait. And you can see here what just happened is uh, it created our main.css file. And what it did was, um, well, I'll, I'll just show you what it did. I'll open up the main.css file that was created. And if you see this, if your file was created and you see this uh, code that looks similar, that means that uh, it works. Now, in the beginning of the video, I said you can use things like uh, nested rules and variables. Um, if we wanted to add a background color to this, oops, um, a background color, say uh, black, we could do so like that and then save it. And let me just go ahead and go over to my uh, easy sass. Okay, so I got my square. You can do things like variables. So let's say, um, I don't know, we'll just call this one. BG color and I set it to red. I can go down here to background and just put BG dash color. And this is a very basic example. I'm going to get into some more complex ones, but uh, right now we're just testing to make sure it works. Let's check out what our uh, main.css file is doing. As you can see, it's already refreshed. And um, what it did was it took that variable and it applied it to the background rule and it gave it the uh, proper variable value value which was uh, red and of course when I go back to my browser and refresh the box turns red so this is one very basic and simple example but it's uh, one of many and if you'd like to learn more about those examples or mix-ins and uh, whatnot feel free to go ahead and subscribe or like my video and um, yeah I look forward to learning some tests and thanks for watching